2010 salutatorian Brittany Manning. Good evening. Our keynote, keynote speaker for this evening is Mrs. Peggy Lagarde. This extraordinary woman was born and raised in the Washington, D.C. area. She was educated at Millersville University after moving to Lancaster in 1976. Miss Peggy is happily married to Mr. Ben Lagarde. She is also a proud mother of three sons, Richard, age 49, Chris, age 31, and Nicholas, age 29 and the loving grandmother of four grandchildren. In 2000, Ms. Peggy became a part of the Renaissance Academy office staff, and ever since then, she has been like a motherly figure to all the students that have come her way. Ms. Peggy is a person that can relate to anyone at any age. She has touched many lives in her years of service here at Renaissance Academy. We are proud to have Ms. Peggy Lagarde as our keynote speaker. We know that she will share with us words of wisdom that we can take as we succeed in our lives. Thank you, Ms. Peggy, for all you have done. We love you, class of 2010. Good evening, graduates, parents, school directors, and staff, and especially you graduates. Listen up, everyone. Several of you missed the bus yesterday, and you know how ticked I get when that happens. <laughs> Don't let it happen today. For most of you, buses have been a constant part of your life since kindergarten. You rode a bus to and from school every day where you learned and progressed to the seats that you're sitting in now you can continue to ride a bus into life. Some of you will get on a bus and stay on it until the end of the line. You were the lucky ones. Most of us get on a bus and realize it is not the right bus and get off and get on another bus. That's okay, too. Some of you are meant to get on the bus marked Sunset Boulevard for the big stage in the limelight of fame. Honor yourself in that light and never forget where the bus first picked you up. Some of you will take the bus to Wall Street to be the business of tomorrow. Remember that your decisions affect more than just you, which, come to think of it, applies to all of us. Some of you will find yourself en route to Bourbon Street, where the best of the best chefs wake to their passion in the kitchens of the Mardi Gras festivities. Remember to feed those that hunger not only for your leftovers, but for your attention as well. Some of you will find yourself headed toward Fifth Avenue in high style. You will also be faced with a decision of what your legacy will be. Think long and hard, because people won't remember what you were wearing on that last day. Some of you have aspirations to get on that bus headed for Abbey Road. Keep in mind that life is not always sweeter somewhere besides here. Far too often, we don't realize how good we have it until it is gone. And for those of you who get on the bus to Main Street, don't ever feel like you miss the bus to bigger and better things. You are the people that make things happen in this world. Your smile is the greeting at school. You are the coach that sends me signals from third base in the summer softball game. Your voice is the voice of encouragement and the sound advice in a life-altering situation. You are the hand that holds the hurting and carries the load of those who can't. You are the ones that inspire the art of everyday life. I took the bus to Main Street. When I was in high school, I married, graduated, and for my 18th birthday, I had a son. Over the years, I was divorced, remarried, had two more sons, plus four, four terrific grandchildren. Ten years ago, I was fortunate enough to be hired to work here at Renaissance Academy. 
I love my job, and I especially love my job because of you students. However, at the end of April, I attended my 49th high school reunion. I am embarrassed to say that I was ashamed to admit I was a principal secretary. It seemed as though everyone else in the, my class had become lawyers, doctors, scientists, even a famous syndicated columnist, and done great things about which they were entitled to brag. What is important in my telling you this story is that the lesson I learned was that I let my first son's birth be my excuse for letting life happen instead of stepping up and creating my life. So I could have waited for a different bus, and I could have made different decisions when I was young. I might have missed out on the fancy title and a fancier car. But just think, I would not have been blessed to have known each of you. For knowing all of you in this time and this space, I feel well accomplished. And greeting all of you in the morning has been one of my life's pleasures. Now don't miss your bus. Yeah.